Amen. Amen. Truly we count it the blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. We, we have been blessed and, and we give honor to the mistress of ceremony. And, amen. And to my friend and Pastor Evans. Amen. Uh, thank God for him just to be able to come back home to my dear friends and in the ministry. We thank God for them and to the officers and, and the visitor officers to the choirs and if they're in the visitors and to our choir and to all of my father children the Lord did it again amen <laughs> amen he woke us up this morning huh thank God did it again so glad to see so many faces Back in the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And those back in the 70s, we can sing together down through the years. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord being good to us. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Amen. We yeah. thank God for again for our choir and, and uh, you know, those that might... And I can't remember uh, that sister Tater there doing that singing. She got her mama look, but she got my voice. <laughs> amen. 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 I, I, so we thank God for, for being here. Now we're not going to worry you alone. I'm uh, not too much a talker. Amen. But there is a word. There is a word from the Lord. It was placed on my heart and in the book of Saint Luke. We all know the story. Amen. So since we know the story, I shouldn't have helped. And the problem getting some amens. St. Luke, the fifth chapter, and we will begin reading at the third verse, St. Luke 5, and we begin reading. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon. And he prayed that he would trust out a little fur from the land. Mm -hmm. And he sat down and tossed, talked the peoples out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep. And let down your net for your drops. And Simon Anson said unto him, Master, we been we had toil all night and hadn't taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word I will let down the net. Amen. God. We like to use for a thought this evening, Jesus makes the difference. Amen. Amen. And in everything we do, 
There is a season and a purpose. You may not understand it. And you may not know why God does certain things. But there is a purpose. Behind every event, God is arranging, <laughs> putting everything in this pot of oil. That's right, that's right, that's right. All right, now. You may not agree on how the God does things. But it's for your good. How do you know it's CV? Because I heard the Paul says all things watch together for good. I wish I had somebody. Every plant. Need some rain and sunshine. And, and if you expect to grow in Christ, you need some rain. Oh, you're going to let me preach. You, you need some rain in your life. God knows how to balance life. Yes, he does. Yes. Right now. Show up, preacher. If it was up to CB, yeah. Yeah. Come on, Come on. I would make sure <laughs> I would never have no heels. Uh. I, I would make sure I wouldn't have no mountains. Yeah. But God knows what is best. He give us some valleys and some hills. And what's so good about it is when he give us mountains, he give us plain land and valleys. So he arranged things as best for us. Something else God does. Whatever we need, he knows when to give it. You need to stop your prayers by saying right now, God. You, 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 you know how uh, we, we, we want something right now. Oh, but you can't hurry, God. God knows when to give it. What you need to do is learn how to be patient. Is that right? That patient, that period, is the period of preparation. While you wait, then you need to be, learn how to be patient. Because they that wait on the Lord. I wish I had somebody. They shall renew their strength. Muffle things. Learn how That's it right there. to wait. Yeah. Life is unpredictable. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
You have low, your low period and high. You upsize and downsize. And, and there are those not handle the downfall. Well, you realize you can't stay up always. You got to come down. And, 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 and again, you just well stop that praying. All right, all right. Lord, if I'm too high, bring me down. Don't worry about that. God going to bring you down. <laughs> you don't worry about it. He's going to bring you down if you get too high. Yes, he's. We have our ups. And downs. And sometimes in our dark hours, we get disgusted. We get discouraged. Mainly because God does not work the way we think. His ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not his, our thoughts. He, he works totally different the way we works. I wish I had somebody. But the little you, but the little you know, God knows more than we do. He, he knows more than we do. He, he, he knows what we need before. Is that right? So now Noah's here. We dealing with some professional fishermen. Know where to fish. No when to fish. But the Bible said they call nothing. <laughs> I wish I had somebody. Come on now. He he they knew that the night time was the right time. They, 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 they went out on a full moon. Yeah. Uh -huh. The right time. Yeah. <laughs> but the Bible says they call nothing. Are you going to pray with me? Yeah. 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 They fish all night. Long. Huh? And the only thing that they can show was emptiness. Empty. They was expecting for the boat to be filled with fish. But rather, the boat was filled with disappointment. I wish I helped us somebody. Amen, amen. And, and, and the little they knew, they were not expecting for Jesus to come by. When you're not expecting for Jesus, that when he come by. All right, all right. Now. I wish I had somebody. All right. Yeah. Amen, amen. Yeah. Noah's here. All the time they've been catching fish 
Jesus never came by. But in this particular night, I just believe, this just came out of CV commentary. Jesus told the fish, don't bite that night. I wish I had somebody. Mainly because Jesus had a reason and a purpose for him to come by. I just want to remind somebody. Amen. Sometimes Jesus has to let us go through some rough times. Are you on praying? Sometimes it takes a pink slip to let you know that he's able to provide. Sometimes it takes a sick bed put you on your back. So you can look up. To let you know that he's a doctor. In the sick room. And sometimes he will cause earthly friends. To walk away from him. To let you realize that he's a friend. That we're still closer. Than a brother. They caught nothing. Nothing will break anybody's spirit. Are you going to pray with me? Just, just imagine you work all week long. And Friday you pick up your check and you don't have nothing. Oh, I wish I had somebody. Oh, can you imagine how they felt their spirit was broken? They was expecting to have some fish but nothing to show for was emptiness. I want to say this. Man can't handle nothing. Man can't handle nothing. And not only he can't handle it, man can't use nothing. Because nothing from nothing is nothing. You gonna pray with me? Man can't own nothing. For nothing have nothing to own. Are you see? Are you praying with me? To man, nothing is nothing. Because it nothing he can use with. Man can't use nothing because we're not nothing. Nothing cannot be made. Oh, you ain't great. You ain't, you ain't praying with me. But the little they knew, the man that came by the seashore of Galilee was not an ordinary man. The man that they was talking to, amen, he was a man that grabbed out towards nothing and caught something. I wish I had somebody. Jesus is the only one that know how to handle nothing. He threw her on nothing. And nothing became something. Yeah. No, no. I wish I had somebody. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. 
I wish I had somebody to pray with me. Amen, amen. Jesus was not just an ordinary man. We know that Jesus can make the difference. When, 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 when Jesus shows up, things have a way of change. I wish I had somebody. When, when, when Jesus come by. Amen. When Jesus shows up, despair turn to hope. <laughs> I wish I had somebody. When Jesus shows up, joy will turn to rejoicing. Doubt will turn to trust when Jesus shows up. Your nightmare we turn to middays. I wish I had somebody. Your dreams will turn to reality. Your heavy load will turn to a light load when Jesus shows up. And I want to this evening had Jesus Shows up in your room. Huh? You, you can't remain the same when Jesus shows up. Oh, yes, my sisters and brothers, when, when he shows up, you're not the same anymore. That's why Paul says, if any man be in Christ, he, he became, become. A new creature. All yeah. oh, things are passed away. And behold, all yeah. things yeah. become new. Yeah. <laughs> CV, yeah. Yeah. how do you know you've been changed? Yeah. Well, Grandma said, when I look at my hands, yeah. my hands look new. I, I, I begin to walk. I had a new walk. I wish I had somebody. Oh, yes, when Jesus shows up, things have a way of changing. Jesus came by and asked a question. And this always puzzles me. He knows everything. But he asks questions. I wish I had something. While they was cleaning their nets. While Jesus saw that the nets was empty. While he saw them tired and sweating, Jesus asked a question. Call anything? I wish I had some. Come on now. Go on now. And, 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 and you, know, you know how we are. If we wouldn't catch something, we would make up a lie. Yeah, I call it, but it got away. But, 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 but the evidence was right there because the net was empty. They could not say anything. The evidence was there. It was empty. Look at Jesus, this carpenter, carpenter, 
fancy tell these fishermen <laughs> how to fish. Come on, come on, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. And I just believe Peter had an attitude. I just believe Peter had an attitude. Wait, 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 wait a minute. You don't look like a fisherman. And you're going to try to tell me how to fish? I got my, I got my hooks and I got my nets and I don't see anything you got. And you're going to try to tell me how to fish? You know how we are. You know how we are. Jesus didn't argue with him. Jesus just simply told him, boys, you've been fishing in the wrong place. I bet you have somebody. I wonder this evening, how long had you been fishing in the wrong place? I wish I had somebody. Oh, my goodness, Jesus told them, go out a little bit further. And, and this time, go out into the deep. And when you go out to the deep, let down your net on the right side. And I believe Peter said, Lord, wait a minute. You must didn't hear me the first time. I told you, we've been fishing all night long, and we caught nothing. But the idea is Christians never gives up. That's the measure, that is the golden rule for a Christian. Right. If you don't succeed the first time, try it again. I wish I had somebody. Yeah. Right. Amen, my sisters and brothers. This is not the place to quit. Right. This is not the time to throw in the towel. If you had not succeeded the first time, try it again. Yeah. Try it again. Jesus told them, go out the second time. Yeah. Yes, you know what happened. When they went out the second time and threw their nets, they caught a multitude of fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mainly because they did it the Lord way. Yeah. There you go. If you want to be blessed That's it right there. and succeed, yeah. you got to do it the Lord Lord's way. way. I wish I had somebody. Oh, CV. Oh my God. What was the problem why they didn't catch fish the first time? Okay. It's mainly because they were trying to do it on their own effort. Uh -huh. And my sister and brother, when you try to do things with not God, you can't do it. God have to be in your plan. Yes, yes, yes. I wish I had somebody. You got to take time out and tell the Lord, Lord, let your will be done. Not my will, but let your will be done. Our prayer Every morning before we leave the house, 
All this, all the be Lord, hold my hand. Guide my feet and lead me in the paths of your righteousness. All the time while they were trying to fish with not Jesus, they was killing time. And time was killing them. Yeah. What you My sisters and brothers, I got to leave you now. But I don't have time to waste. Yeah. Uh-huh. I just want to do it the law way right now. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Go ahead. Go ahead. Every child of God, yeah. you ought to tell God, Lord, let your will be done in my life. I'm reminded of a man that was stranded, stranded on the island. He didn't know too much about surviving. But some way he was able to build him a little Huh. Made with leaves and limbs. He learned how to fish to survive. Amen. And while days went by, he thought that some way a ship will come by and rescue him. But it never happened. One day he decided to go out, find some old food. When he came back, he noticed his hut was on fire. The man sat down and started weeping, started crying because that's all. He had. And while he was weeping and crying, he heard a horn bloom. Lord. Oh, come on now. Amen. And he looked up, and there was a ship coming towards his way. My, my, my. And when the ship came, the captain says, we would never saw you, but we saw the smoke. Oh, I, 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 just pray with me. Oh, my sister and brothers, that's the way God is. You got to give away. You got to destroy everything you think you need for Christ to come by. Amen. What I'm trying to tell you, what the Bible said, what profit a man if he gains the whole world and lose his soul. If you feel like you need Jesus to come by, you got to turn to loose what you think that you need and look up towards heaven and say, Father, I stretch my hands unto thee. For there's no other help I know. If you want Jesus to stop by your way, amen, you need to say, Lord, have mercy on me. Yeah, you need to say, God, me, oh, the great Jehovah, I am weak, but the Lord strong. 
If you want Jesus to come your way, you got to tell the Lord, Lord, here am I standing in the need of prayer. Amen. The little the man knew it was that smoke <laughs> that was sent up to be a sinner that I need some help. And I want to close by telling you this evening I got a sinner yeah. that I want Jesus to come by here. Yeah. I need the Lord. Can I get a witness? Yeah. I need the Lord to come by here. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. I made up my mind. A long time ago, mm, that I will serve the Lord mm, until I die. Mm, are you gonna pray with me? Mm, notice mm, what Peter says. Mm, never, mm, nevertheless, mm, at thy word. Mm, are you going to pray with me? Mm, one thing I love mm, about God's word mm, is power mm, in God's word. Mm, at thy word, mm, heaven and earth mm, was created. Mm, at thy word. Mm, the raven mm, Fred the prophet mm, at the word mm, the red sea mm, open up mm, at the word mm, dry bones mm, got up mm, at the word I don't know, but I need God's word. Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word proceeded up the house of man. Ain't gone right. God's word is bread in the starving land. God's word, yeah. How do you know, CB? One Monday evening, I came to Jesus. As I was, my head was hanging down. My soul was feeling bad. But I heard the word of God. Ain't God all right? I wanted this evening had Jesus made a difference in your life. I wanted this evening had Jesus Mary baby. Jesus my lady in the valley. Jesus the brighter mm, morning star mm, had Jesus mm, made a difference mm, in your life. Mm, I don't know mm, what the Lord mm, had done for me, mm, had done for you, mm, but I know mm, what the Lord mm, had done for me. Mm, he put running 
in my feet. I'm willing and I'm determined to run on and see what the end gonna be. I know the man. He's all right. Do you know he's all right? I know he's all right. What Friday evening? He died. Do you know he died? He died. He gone. I'm glad that he died. But I heard him say, if I be lifted up from the earth. Ah, ah, I will draw. Ain't God all right? He will draw all me unto me. He died on the cross unto heaven. God satisfied. The as you win, refuse the sun, the red, shook like a drunk man, ain't God all right, he died on the cross, they brought him down, put him in Joseph, new tomb, ain't God all right. But the story didn't end there. Early, early. That Sunday morning, he rose. Do you know he rose? He rose with all power in his hand. Ain't gone all right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for rising on Sunday morning. Because you live, I can face tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can make the difference. You can make the difference. Oh, yes, he can. He make the difference. He can give a little and make much. He can make the difference. God bless you. We hope we pray that we have said something along the way. Amen. Amen. Choir, are you ready? All right. As a choir sing.